Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems with another tech tip on the Laser Imprints Go Uno Color Laser Printer. In this tip, I'm going to give you my suggestions for running this transfer paper, Image Clip Laser Light, successfully through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. Now, when it comes to some papers, they're very easy to run through the printer. Some papers can be a little finicky, and probably one of the more finicky ones is this Image Clip Laser Light imaging sheet. So in this video, I'm going to cover the driver settings that I use on the computer and how I personally load and feed Image Clip Laser Light through my Go Uno to get successful runs without printer jams. So let's go over to the computer here and I'll show you my driver settings. So here I am at my computer. I'm going to send an image to my Laser Imprints Go Uno from Corel Draw X6. The first thing I want to do is go File print to pull up my print menu. I want to make sure that I'm going to the Go Uno printer and then click on preferences to access the driver. You'll notice the four tabs here. Layout, paper quality, job options, and color. Let's review my recommended settings to get 8.5 inch by 11 inch image clip laser light to go through the printer successfully. On the Layout tab, make sure you are set to Portrait or Landscape depending on the orientation of your graphic. I'm going to select Portrait for this particular graphic. The next tab, Paper Quality, we want to make sure that our paper source is changed to Multipurpose Tray because remember, we always want to pull transfer paper from the Multipurpose Tray. Now, let's go to our Advanced button to access the PostScript functions of the driver. Notice here, Paper Size. This is an important change we want to make. It's defaulted to a letter size sheet, which is what we're printing. But what we have to understand is, when we load the sheet into the multipurpose tray and we have letters selected, the default measurement is for the 11-inch side of the sheet to enter the tray first what we call long edge. What we're going to do to get Image Clip Laser Light to run successfully is we're going to change this to a short edge option. We do this by clicking on our pull down menu and selecting PostScript Custom Page Size. When you click on PostScript Custom Page Size, another window will appear. You will see that the default paper size is 8.5 inch by 11 inch, which is our sheet measurement. But you'll notice right here for paper feed direction, it should say short edge first. This is how we want to run 8.5 inch by 11 inch image clip laser light. So we're going to say OK and make sure that PostScript custom page size is selected. The other changes we want to make is on our media check, we want to turn our media check off so we don't get the error message on the Go Uno that we have to manually clear. Next, we want to make sure that our media type is selected to Image Clip Paper. The other change we'll make on this screen is the tray switch. We'll turn the tray switch off to make certain it doesn't try to finish the job by pulling paper from the cassette tray. Let's click OK to save these changes. Now we'll go to the Job Options tab. On the Job Options tab, when it comes to image clip papers, I like to change the resolution setting to Fine Detail. This commands the printer to put down a little more toner, which is essential when we're applying emulsion to the toner with the press step. The last change we'll make is when we'll go to Color. We want to make sure that Automatic Color Mode Management is selected. Let's click OK. And to demonstrate the effectiveness of this, we'll tell the printer we want 10 copies. It is my recommendation that you never run more than 10 copies at a time of Image Clip Laser Light through the printer. We'll explain why in a minute. But let's apply our changes, hit print, and now let's go load paper in the Laser Imprints Go Uno. As I had mentioned before with the Laser Imprints Go Uno, the normal default paper feed 
is long edge or the 11 inch edge inside the printer. But when it comes to image clip laser light, the emulsion layer on this sheet can be a little finicky and you might experience some paper jams if you try to do long runs with the sheet loaded on the long edge. Since we select PostScript custom page size and told the printer to run short edge first, I'll just change my orientation and line up the guide bars so I could feed the short edge through the printer. Also with my other recommendation of not running more than 10 sheets at a time, what we got to remember is, is that every sheet of paper that goes through, it will absorb heat off the fuser roller inside of the assembly. If we try to feed too many sheets through and the fuser loses too much heat, you will encounter a paper jam. So when it comes to image clip laser light, I never try to run more than 10 sheets at one run. After I run 10 sheets, I'll give the printer a minute or two to let the fuser recycle its heat and then I'll run another set. The other trick I like to employ is instead of stacking 10 sheets inside of the tray, I like to hand feed the sheets from the multi-purpose tray. And the reason is, is because image clip laser light can develop a static charge. And if the paper has a static charge, the tray might try to grab more than one sheet at a time and feed it through the printer. If that happens, you'll definitely have a jam issue. So let's go ahead, elevate the tray and load it into position. We'll hit our online button to start printing. And as the paper starts to feed inside of the printer, we'll notice the feed wheel right here. What we want to do is have our next sheet ready, holding on to it. So as the feed wheel grabs the sheet and sends it into the printer, as long as we touch the edge of the paper to the feed wheel, the sensors inside the tray will recognize the sheet is there. It will grab that sheet and send it through. This way, we can make sure that the printer grabs one sheet at a time without jamming inside of the printer. See, as the sheet goes through, we touch the next sheet and away it goes. And we'll just repeat the process until we do our run of 10 sheets. Now, if for some reason you aren't fast enough to get the next sheet to touch the wheel, that's okay. Let's watch what happens. I will get a message here to install paper. So I could just move the next sheet into position, press the online button, and keep going. Touch the wheel, let it feed. Easy breezy. And there we go. 10 sheets of image clip laser light imaging sheets through the laser imprints Go Uno without a jam. Like I said, what I will do now is give my printer about a minute or two to let the fuser section inside recycle its heat, then I can queue up another set of 10 and keep printing. So there you have my tech tips for running this paper, image clip laser light imaging sheets through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. Remember the secrets. When it comes to the driver, make sure you select PostScript custom page size and you run the paper through short edge first. Don't queue up any more than 10 prints in one run and make sure you hand feed the paper. You'll get more successful prints with fewer jams. Hope you enjoyed this tech tip. Make sure to tune in to Condi TV for more tech tips on the Laser Imprints Go Uno Color Laser Printer. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours.